Good morning, everyone. It is December 18th, so day 18 of Vlogmas. I'm Kay, and I'm so glad you found me. It's actually kind of a nice day. It's been unusually warm. I'm in South Carolina, if I haven't mentioned that lately. And uh, around this time of year, it's usually chilly, like comfortable for a sweater. Highs in the 50s, maybe. And we've been seeing highs in the 60s and even 70s um, occasionally. So anyway, it's it's nice, but it doesn't really feel seasonal. So yeah, anyway, it's overcast today, but but really pleasant outside. I took Bentley, our dog, out uh, first thing this morning. And uh, well, you know, I say first thing, it really wasn't. He tends to sleep later than I do. So I took him out when he was ready this morning. Well, how are you? Christmas is a week from today. Just gonna contemplate that for a minute. My husband said, you know, we really need to go finish our shopping today. This Saturday before Christmas. Sure, why not? Yeah, we'll probably go in a little while. It's about 20 minutes to 11, so we might get a quick lunch here and then head out. We actually have somewhere to be tonight, so I will need to be home in time to cook for a family dinner tonight. So we'll only have maybe three-ish hours, so we'll see. Okay, let's open some Advents and... I can get on with my shopping uh, and we will also get some video of Bentley uh, getting his treats okay let's start with let's start with chocolate today uh, the constellation Canis Major the big dog so is this the right one yeah let's see that one there we go and there's not actually a thing on the back Canis Major, known as the Big Dog at the, after the larger of Orion's two hunting dogs, contains Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. It is best viewed after 9.30 p.m. Pacific in the southeast. Only the Moon, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter shine brighter. Appearing three days before the winter solstice, just off the tips of Taurus the Bull's horns, December's full moon was known to Native Americans by different nicknames. The Algonquin called it Cold Moon or Long Night's Moon. The Cheyenne called it Big Freezing Moon, and the Lakota Sioux called it Moon of the Popping Trees, all names evincing winter sights and sounds. Does the full moon look enormous to you as it rises over the horizon? That's a famous visual effect called the moon's illusion. During the moon's brief traversal of the horizontal line, your eyes instinctively gauge the moon's size relative to trees and buildings. Once the moon rises higher in the sky, where it's visually isolated, your eyes compare the moon to fewer earthly objects and it appears smaller. Photographic sequences show the moon to be the same size, whether on the horizon or high above. That's a good explanation of that. All right, let's see what's in here. Mm. Coco Nib Mondiant with Zorzal Estate by Christopher Curtin from Eclat Chocolate. For a few seconds. All right, let me open this one because this one's really pretty. Uh, you know what? I think oh, I think I'm gonna have to sharpen these scissors. That's what I think. Well. Okay, we'll let Janie try that one, or I'll split it with her. It seems like it's mostly a chocolate rather than lots of other odd ingredients. I think I need to sharpen my scissors, actually. Okay, let's go into this one. Let's see what's in here today. Oh, my light might go out. I'm having trouble keeping the computer on, and the computer has to be on for the light to stay on. Okay, we have a mango coconut Vietnamese tea we have oh, another dove chocolate and yarn I think 
this is magpie fiber. Pretty sure. I have a shawl made from this that I can't remember the name of. All right, fiber. I did bring my socks, my Christmas socks, and the Mad Bench haul to show you. I got, a, I think, a little bit done after I put pictures in yesterday. I got twinkling. Look at that lemon yellow. Oh my goodness. I have so much spinning to catch up on. I may have to look back through my um, advents to know what order they go in. So pretty. I have one, two, three, four, I have five days of spinning to catch up on. Take me an hour. Maybe more. Look at all those colors. Oh, wow. Now that right there makes me think of um, Mardi Gras colors. Purple and yellow probably are what do it primarily. But yeah, look at that. This is going to be so much fun. All right, one more. We have a PK yarn. There we go, day 18. Let's see. Oh, and there's a little treat in there. This is Arabian coffee. What do we have in there? We have some kind of corally pinks and browns and kind of a golden yellow. That's pretty. And, haha. Oh, a sugar free Worthers. Nice. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm not quite caught up on the Madvent shawl, but I'm getting there. I'm making good progress. I've got it almost memorized now. All right, so turn around so you can see this one. I have, let's see if I can start at the beginning again. Clara, Fritz, Party Girls, Party Boys, Drosselmeyer, sounds like a Christmas tree. Uh, Harlequin and Columbine, Dancing Doll, Toy Soldier. It's taking me a minute. Mice. That's the gray. Mouse King is this one. Um, Nutcracker Prince, Snow Queen, I think, Snowflake, this one, mostly white, what's this one, Dewdrops, I think, and Sugar Plum Fairy, I got started on that one, and let's see, I actually made a list on my phone so I would remember which ones of these came next. Okay, this is Spanish chocolate from yesterday. Pretty similar to the one for today, it looks like. I popped it back in the box. So this one is Spanish chocolate and this is Arabian coffee. So those are pretty similar. Yeah, I think those are gonna be fun to add. I'm excited about getting that done. So I'm actually, once I finish the sugar plum, the pink sugar plum, then it's just two more. I don't know if I'll get that done today, but it is not out of the question. All right, let me grab my other bag. This is the sock. I don't know if I got any more of this done after I popped in a picture yesterday. I said I was gonna show you my progress and then I totally forgot. 
Okay, so it's a little messy right now, but that's where I am on sock number two. I think I've got not much more before I get to the heel. So if I work diligently, I may actually get this done by Christmas, maybe a little ahead of time. So you can see this is the first sock that's finished. Hands woven in and everything. So, well, it doesn't look like a ton of progress. I'm actually close to where I switch for the heel. So I got a little bit more to go and then do the heel. And this was really fast because it was just knit straight to the uh, contrast toe. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it looks. I think it's gonna be super cute for Christmas. And I would love to get those done. If I can get that done a little early, I think I'm going to do the Gales Art Christmas sock blank and go ahead and get started on that. Even that is highly unlikely to get done before Christmas. I can't imagine having enough time to knit a pair of socks um, in like two or three days at best. But anyway, we'll see. It's fun to knit from a sock blank anyway. And I would love to get a little bit of video of that for anybody who's never tried it. It's pretty fun. All right, everybody, take care. I will try to get some video and photos of some of the things that we're doing today, shopping, and I'll ask. I'm not sure how much family is comfortable being photographed, but um, I have some people I can ask if they don't mind photographs tonight. All right, everybody, take care, and we'll chat later. Bentley, don't draw. Don't draw on the trees, or the, on them. He's shaking. Are you excited, Billy? Are you excited? <laughs> Dance. Okay, can you do it? Can you Hi everybody, we have been kind of making faces at ourselves in the in the camera for a few minutes to try to figure out what's going to work. And I think we just kind of just talk. Nobody's here because I'm pretty. All right, we are getting ready to get, well, maybe you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're getting ready to go into a Belk department store to do some last minute shopping. Wish us luck. If you don't see me again, we were lost at the Belk in Aiken. Talk to you later. We survived Target. A vehicle just started up next to us and it sounds just like my daughter's car right before it died. Hope those people are okay. <laughs> All right, Andy is, he finished loading stuff up and he's putting the cart away. We'll be heading home in just a little bit and we are, I've got a cook for a family thing tonight and we'll be heading over there tonight. We lived. So far. So far. Yeah. All right, everybody, let's head home.